Hi traders, take a look at Facebook. It starts with a very big gap down, which makes it a perfect candidate for a gap and go trade. Now, I'm always looking pre-market time to stocks that are starting with a big gap. And Facebook, you can see here that is down more than 7%. So it was a pre-market perfect candidate. Now I'm taking a look at the intraday behavior and you can see that the initial move was up. Now there's a very strong or long topping tail which is forming. You can see it's still trying to move higher. You want to see the buyers out of the game. You're waiting for the failure. This is the first one minute candle. So I'm waiting at least for the second because otherwise I just don't have a technical formation. Now anyway, taking a, a, a trade like this during the first one or two or three or even five minutes is extremely dangerous but Facebook down that much that usually means a lot of people will short it probably under the laws once it proves to me that it's failing and as you can see the second red candle just started it's getting close to the lows and I'm getting ready I'm looking for the proof now it's touching the lows and I am shorting right here 4,000 shares now I'm short Facebook and hoping that I'm going to see the breakdown which just didn't come well it's a part of the game it just moved under the lows it did not come but at the, in the same time I'm watching the S&P 500 I'll show you that one soon and uh, the S&P kept coming down at this point you can see soon uh, Facebook kind of lost it I mean initially it moved down it looked like it's about to break down but then it started moving higher now take a look at what happens now in Facebook it spikes higher it's not just moving higher it spikes higher and you never ever move out from 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 a short or from a long doesn't matter if it's a short you never move out on a spike up so you just hold on to this stock until the spike just relaxes until the stock relaxes and again at the same time I'm watching the S&P 500 and the S&P 500 is coming down so I'm assuming that it is very very likely that Facebook will follow the S&P 500 and it just cooled down a little bit of course now the highs becomes my stop loss it's coming down to the lows it's proving to me that my initial idea of shorting it under the law is probably right that's why I am prepared now to add more size if it comes down under the lows so it's kind of going sideways I keep watching the S&P I show you the S&P soon and it's getting close to the lows and at the point where it hits the lows before or a little bit after I'm going to add again it depends on what the S&P 500 is going to do but as you can see now Facebook is failing and I'm about to add another 2000 shares to my short and I am adding right now and I'm short 6000 shares it's just before it moved to a new low at at this point I'm expecting a new law and uh, it just did touch a new law and just move now to green territory and uh, I do have my target and my target is also based on the behavior of Facebook but also on the behavior of the S&P 500 so as long as Facebook is coming down and you can see a fast forward now of uh, Facebook behavior as long as Facebook is coming down I would like to follow it and uh, until it gets to my target but it also has to do with what the S&P 500 is doing and as you can see Facebook is accelerating low looking great I'm up over $10,000 here and I'm getting ready for my partial at the first sign of a pullback which is coming right now I mean, watch the last candle a small green candle I'm taking my partial and that's it now the pullback did not start here it started here you can see the S&P 500 the S&P 500 these these are five minute candles came down at the beginning of the session you can see the topping tail here the S&P was moving higher and then it came down now take a look at pins it's the same type of an idea I'm short 8,000 shares I also added taking my partial here it was a great trade for me but again all of them started with the S&P 500 direction and with the idea of a gap and go so if you watch the S&P 500 right now you can see how it tried to pull back higher earlier when I took my Facebook partial pins did not get to my target so I took my partial a little bit later anyway the end result is great I am having a, today a loser one loser in ANF but uh, a winner in pins in snap and in Facebook and I'm going to finish this day just over an hour now and uh, up more than $14,000 now I thought I should get into more details explaining a little bit more about uh, live about how I deal with stocks I mean what is the reversal point and why do I hang on on the spike and so on so if you like this video if you if you, if you like the way I explained it 
Um, maybe this is something I should continue. Please give me a like. It will give me an indication that I should continue this way. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. Please remember trading is extremely hard. It's not as easy as, easy as it may look and my past performance is probably better than novice traders. I am a very experienced trader and uh, just be careful. Start with the demo. There's links right here below this video to a demo of Colmex, the same one I'm trading. And there was more links like free access to my trading room where I call all of these trades live. Thank you very much for watching. There's a subscribe button here if you want to subscribe and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. I'll see you in my next video.